These are the Dodios Dubuds TWS earbuds and they cost only $40 but are they any worth it for under $50 and should you buy them? Well on today's video we're gonna be going over if they are any worth it so without further ado let's get right into it. As always let's start off with all the accessories that you are getting with these. So in the box you do get the charging case which is pretty cool and I'll talk about it in a little bit and obviously the earbuds themselves and finally the warranty card and the user manual book. Now like I said earlier I really like this charging case that come with these earbuds because not only can you charge the earbuds using it but you can also charge another device. For example, you can charge your phone because this acts as a power bank, which is pretty cool. The power bank that you get with this charging case has a 2600 milliamps, which is pretty decent, especially considering the small form factor, which like I said, it's pretty cool. And I haven't really seen this on any other earbuds that I reviewed on this channel. So it is nice to see Durios implementing this feature on the charging case. Apart from having the power bank, I do have to say, that this charging case does feel pretty cheap the materials just don't feel high quality enough especially the door it just feels like it's going to fall apart after a period of time but i hope not and at the front you have four led lights to show how many juice you have left and at the left side you have the usb c port and on the right side you have the usb port for charging another device So these earbuds remind me like the Dodeo's shadows that I reviewed in the past because of the shape design and I mean that's not a bad design, I actually like this design, I think it's pretty unique and definitely stands out from other earbuds but the belt quality on these is pretty solid, they are made out of plastic and overall belt quality is pretty good. Now when it comes to the comfort I do have to say and I do have to be honest that these are not the best when it comes to the comfort. I ended up getting ear fatigue and my ears started to hurt after like 15 minutes of wearing these which is very disappointing. In my opinion, the comfort and the sound quality are the two most important things that I look into when buying a pair of headphones or earbuds and even though the comfort isn't the best on these, the sound quality was pretty decent, the highs and mids were well balanced and overall they sound pretty decent especially for the price but I did wish the bass was a bit better. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't sound completely terrible, but I wish it was just a bit better. But overall, aside from not having the best comfort, the sound quality was pretty decent, especially like I said for the price, under $50. Now let's talk about some features that you get with these. So these have IPX4 sweat proof, so that means you can throw these in light rain or even if you sweat a lot like when working out or doing any type of sport, then these are definitely going to be nice for that. Um, these also have a built-in microphone so you can use it to activate Google Now or Siri. The Bluetooth pairing process on these is also pretty good. You can pair them really quick and easy. Um, also, you do have a smart touch control features on these. For example, you can pause and play the music by double tapping on the left side of the earbud or right side. And um, you can do way more things uh, with the touch control features. So you don't pretty much have to use your phone to for example change to a different track or pause and play your music but overall guys these are definitely a great solid pair of earbuds especially for under $50 but yeah guys that's gonna do it for this video if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like and also let me know down below in the comments if you guys have any questions uh, but yeah that's gonna do it for this video thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video peace